Okay, Taurus, I'm here to do your reading for May 14th through the 21st. If you guys are interested in videos like this, please make sure that you guys subscribe and like this video. I'll be posting as frequently as I can. And if you guys would like to book a personal reading with me, all my information is down below where you guys can reach me and go ahead and do so. Alrighty, we're going to jump right in. What's going on with my Taurus for May 14th through the 21st? What's going on? Okay. My Taurus, May 14th through the 21st. Shuffle three more times. Oh, shit. <clears throat> All right. So. Okay. Taurus. What's going on with my Taurus? Okay, so your present position, we have the magician. Your influence, we have the Knight of Cups. Past issues, who? We have the Seven of Swords. Immediate past, we have the Nine of Wands. Crowning thoughts, we have the Ace of Cups. Immediate future, we have the Two of Wands. Your fears, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, environmental factors, we have the Lovers. Your hopes, we have the Seven of Cups. And then outcome, we have the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, Taurus. So, in your present position, we have the magician. So, I feel like you guys are manifesting right now. You guys are in manifestation mode. You guys are trying to bring new ideas into fruition. You guys are trying to find the best way to go about anything in your life, whether that be finances, relationships, all of that stuff. You're really trying to manifest great things into your life right now. With your influence, we have the Knight of Cups. So I feel as if you guys have an offer coming in um, very fast. This this person or this opportunity, whether it be work or love, um, is charging in super fast. And it's bringing the emotional fulfillment that you want. But also, please make sure that this is a stable um, offer coming towards you. Because with the Knight, um, it's more of like a emotional bomb, meaning like, Oh, uh, for instance, like if it's love, like, oh, I love you so much, da, 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 and then like the next day you don't hear from this person. So it's very like flighty with the night energy. So please make sure that this is going to be um, a stable love offer or um, opportunity, whether it be work or whatnot, um, that it's actually stable and not just like, oh, somebody just rushing in just because. Okay, so your third card, past issues, we have a seven of swords. So I feel as if somebody wanted to get away from like a job or a situation where there was a lot of like deception or just hidden information, um, somebody taking more or just a lot of just deceptive things in the past with people, with work situations, all of that stuff. So I feel like this is just, you know... <laughs> It, it really threw you for a loop, um, especially. Um, but I feel like you guys, you guys had to get away from a situation or there was just like a lot of deception in the past. Okay, immediate past, we have the Nine of Wands. So I feel like there was just, like I said, like a lot of paranoia or having to stand your ground and literally be on defense. Um, and you, you were just like, 
you were done with it um honestly and you you were just you were willing to give it one more push especially with like finances or your relationship um you were willing to give it one more push even though it was just like a lot going on and a lot that's like keeping you on guard and wanting to just be on the defense all the time um Okay, crowning thoughts. We have the Ace of Cups. So, you guys want something that is emotionally fulfilling. You guys want a work situation that is going to give you all the abundance that you need um, and also be a fun or also be fulfilling towards your, like, your divine path. And also, you guys want a relationship where it's, you know, it's divine love there and... Yeah, I feel like you guys might be dealing with the water sign, but I feel as if like you guys just really, really want this emotional fulfillment from all parts of your life, which who wouldn't, of course. <laughs> Alrighty, immediate future, we have the two of wands, so I feel like in the future you guys are going to be at a crossroads um, with two different options that you may have. Um There's two paths you can take, and regardless, you're going to be embarking on a new path. Um, but yes, you guys are going to have to make a decision about which way you guys want to go about a situation. Um, but regardless of what choice you make, there is a new beginning. Okay, your fears, we have the 10 of pentacles. So I feel as if you guys are scared that you're not going to be abundant in a situation, um, whether it be work or a relationship, home life, all of that stuff. You guys feel as if you guys aren't going to be abundant or you guys are scared that you won't be abundant. But I'm here to tell you, um, you will definitely be abundant if you just stay focused um, and you keep your sights on what's important and you continue manifesting what, like how you guys are in your present position then we have for your environmental factors we have the lovers so yes i feel like you guys are having to make a head over heart decision about something we're having to make decisions about like a lover work all of that stuff there's decisions that that need to be made um regarding this and I feel like you guys are at a crossroads because of it. You guys don't know where to go. Or you might have an idea, but you see you you see different ways to go about the situation on both sides. Okay, so for your hopes, we have the seven of cups. So you guys hope to have many options or to have many great things come out of whatever you choose. Um, you guys want this situation to provide um, again, with love, whatever, um, you wanted to provide different benefits, different um, options, open up the door for different things um, with this situation. And for your outcome, we have the seven of pentacles. So the seeds that you guys have been planting, you're going to reap the benefits for um, in a relationship, at work, all of that stuff. You are going to benefit from what you've been doing. So no worries. Don't worry. Um, at the bottom of the deck, we have the eight of pentacles. So yes, you guys are going to be hard at work. And you guys are going to manifest whatever you guys want to manifest. Um, and it's going to come into fruition. Just stay dedicated. Stay um, in manifestation mode. And you definitely will be good, um, my Taurus. Let's see. Yes, we have the Ten of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, and the Seven of Wands. Yes. So you guys are going to have this happy home. And you guys, there you go, the Queen of Pentacles. So you guys are going to have the abundance that you want. And you guys are going to be very protective of all of this stuff that you have. You guys are going to be very... Um, guarded and just focused really on just bringing that happiness back to you um and defending it after you get it you're gonna definitely be defending your happiness and defending your place um as far as i'm concerned Alrighty, taurus thank you guys so much for tuning in and i'll definitely guys see you in the next reading